Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the hand tool in Reaper. Now, the hand tool, I feel, is one of the more underused tools in Reaper because it's not that obvious how to use it or adjust it. So I decided to make this tutorial to show you. Now, to get to it or adjust it, we want to go to mouse modifiers. And if you're interested in mouse modifiers, I would suggest watching my other videos just on mouse modifiers. It goes a lot deeper than this. This video is just focused on the hand tool. So let's open up our preferences. And if we scroll down under editing behavior to mouse modifiers. Now to give you an idea how this works, up here we have the context. This is basically the area that this tool is gonna to work in. Over here, we refine that context like left click, left drag, or double click. And down here, we choose the behavior or the action that's gonna be performed. So the first context I wanna look at is the ruler marker region names. This is the area right up here. Down over here is the ruler, but up here is the ruler marker region names. That's where the markers and regions go. So that's their lane. And we see by default, it's set up to hand scroll when we left drag. So if I go up here to the lane, it changes to my hand tool. And what we could do with that, at least by default, is we can move it around to scroll through our track. So I can grab it and pull it to the left or to the right, and we can scroll. It makes more sense if we zoomed in. Let's say we wanted to get over to here. Just go to that lane and pull it over. We can move it around that easily. So that's going to behave that way by default. But as with everything in Reaper, we can change it. So if we click over here, there's a few options that work with that hand tool, and they work together. We have a hand scroll here, but we could also choose horizontal zoom. And when we choose it, it's going to do both. But for now, let's take it off the hand scroll and just have it horizontally zoom. So now if we go up here, it still changes to a hand tool, but now if we grab it and move it up or down, it adjusts the horizontal zoom, down and up. But we can't scroll if we move back and forth. If you wanted to do both, just choose both. Hand scroll and horizontal zoom. So now to do both functions, depending on which direction you move. So if I pull it up and down, it horizontally zooms. Left and right, it'll scroll. Left and right. Up and down, left and right. And there's one more thing we could add to this. We could choose to have it move the edit cursor. If we add this as well, it's going to do all three. And now if we click up here, it moves the edit cursor. But we can still horizontally zoom by going up and down and scroll left and right by dragging left and right. Having the ability to move the cursor is going to help with zooming. So we can click here and the cursor is going to stay in our window. So now if we horizontally zoom in or out, the cursor stays in the middle. So we could choose between all three of them. Now there is a fourth option here, but it's not really supported anymore. So if you're used to using it, you can still use it, but it's not really a supported feature. So because of this context, it's all gonna behave up here, but we can have the same functionality in other contexts. Let's put this back to the default, which is just hand scroll. And let's change the context to the ruler. The ruler is this area up here, not up here, that's the region in marker lane. Down here is our ruler. So you see by default, there is no hand tool, but we can change it either over here or using one of these modifiers that we're not currently using, like this one right here. So I can click it, go down here to hand scroll, and I have all the same options. Let's choose hand scroll. 
Now, if I hold on the modifier in the ruler, it changes to the hand tool. So I can scroll left and right, just like we did up here. And the other options as well. We could add in horizontal zoom, hold on the modifier, we can scroll left and right, but if we pull it up and down, it horizontally zooms. So that's another context we could use. But there's still one more. If we go down here to MIDI marker region lanes, we can do the same thing there. And just like in the arrangement window, it's on by default. So if we double click a MIDI item, it opens the MIDI editor. And then by default, we can go up here and it changes to a hand tool. So we can do the same thing in this window and scroll just by grabbing it. But again, we can change it too. We could add in horizontal zoom. Now we can move up and down and horizontally zoom. Scroll, zoom, and click. And that could all be changed right here. So that's pretty much it. That's the hand tool in Reaper. It's one more tool to help us be more productive. So I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.